Hey everybody, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel, SoCal Shea. So we're going to begin into what uh, I picked up at a local wet Chevy meetup. Uh, my score, my haul, what you want to call it. Uh, so uh, let's get into it here. So my brother, who's also an, uh, a fellow wet shaver and YouTuber, uh, had other Jimenez, uh, is what he's known on YouTube, and he's also known on uh, Instagram as Dapper Jerry. So head on over and check him out, give him a look, see, give him a like, give him a uh, subscription, try to get his ass back on camera. Uh, yeah, so uh, he had contacted me about a month, a little, little over a month ago, about a month ago, let's just say a month ago. Um, that they were going to be doing that he's going to be throwing a uh, wet shaving meetup uh, in Anaheim across the, across the way from uh, I believe it was the Angel Stadium uh, and they were doing a, <clears throat> doing a meetup they rented out a, a spot uh, a little VIP spot in this like gastro pub where it's a, a brewery and they serve food also uh, so uh, I said sure if I can make it I will shoot down there so uh, uh, a few guys that I met at another meetup were there along with my my brother mike uh mike yasmer was there so uh i gotta meet a couple of guys there i gotta meet um uh the owner behind uh, diego scuttles and the soap maker behind that was storybook soap works uh was gonna be making the uh soap for the meetup uh i unfortunately am a bit a bit tight for funds because uh, my truck broke down uh that's another headache in itself. So um, I went out there just to have fun with the guys, have a few beers. Um, so it was fun. It was really, really good. Uh, it was a very, very good uh, turnout. Um, man, for his first turnout, that was pretty cool. So uh, um, Gerardo, good on you, brother. That was an awesome meetup. So that was a big piff table. <clears throat> I took a bunch of stuff down myself. Um, I didn't take very much. I did take some of the stuff that I... Uh, um, I took uh, in one of the previous meetups because I already had the box uh, boxed up for the um, for the raffle, uh, so um, I didn't have much left because I already had cleaned up my dam. So uh, yeah, let's get into it here. So I picked up Mountain Man Sterling. Uh, all this has already been cleaned out, rinsed out, washed out. Uh, pretty damn full. I say about a good 85% full. The scent smells fantastic. Uh, my scent, uh, my sense, my my liking of scents has changed during, uh, as the time went by. And this was what this wasn't the scent that I attracted. I uh, was attracted to, so I never picked it up, and I'm glad I did. Really, really good. That's Mountain Man. Another one I was actually talking to Tony Tony about and uh, Alex Leon. I was thinking about getting into this scent along with Petrichor. So if you can already tell what it is, uh, here we go. Diamond. I uh, did pick this up. This is from Barry Sierra Man. This is about, uh, I say about 85% full. And uh, really wanted to get this because I heard so much things about it. It smells like an open field, fresh cut grass. And I guess it has like a scent of beer and peanuts and I don't know what else. So I guess when you use it as you're lathering it up, it goes to different stages as you see. You can smell the different stages in it. But uh, I can smell like, maybe possibly will be peanuts and fresh cut grass. Uh, I'm not too sure. I gotta get into it more. So I picked that up. Uh, let me see. I also picked up this brush, I was actually thinking about picking this up. This is the uh, Mocha uh, brush from Yaki with a 26 millimeter Badger Knot. Man, what, it's in really good shape. No nicks, <clears throat> hairs are all all there. So uh, I actually uh, lathered it up and cleaned it out and everything and no bristles fell out. So really, really good. Big, big ass handle. I, I understand why people say it's big in the hands now. But man, it feels so good. It looks really good in, uh, in up close. It's got that little mocha effect, transparency through it. Um, man, it's freaking awesome. So I picked that up. And then <laughs> I was like, are you guys sure this is the piff table? This is not someone selling stuff because damn. Picked up this huge, man, humongous ass bottle. Brand new. Probably gonna splash out of it. If that big ass bottle of Floyd and uh, I don't know what, I don't know what you would call this in the Floyd um, 
I don't know if they all say this on the bottom. Uh, my, I don't have any Floyds. Would be my first Floyd, so the Amber Floyd, I guess you could say, unless that's what it's called. But uh, brand new bottle of Floyd. Super, super stoked. I was actually talking to Tony about that, how he was telling me how the scents open up and how great it is. Try it again, try it again. I was actually thinking about picking it up. And luckily I didn't because I picked it up here at the meetup. And uh, Alex is also telling me about it. Then, uh, like I said, I was like, are you sure this is a fifth table? So, picked up this big ass bottle, almost full, you can see there, of... Uh, Nautica Blue, and I'll show you comparisons. Give me a minute. <clears throat> so as I was going, I got a few small sampler EDTs here of things that in the future, when I get the opportunity, I want to pick up. So just going back to oldies and stuff and some other uh, other things also that I've also picked up. Um, I see, I'm not a big EDT guy. I'm getting into this. So I don't remember the name of the stuff that I have in there. Um, but this is one I did like, and uh, it was just an oldie but goodie, so um, I'm glad I picked this up. Um, yeah, so I'm slowly getting into stuff. I know this is not a big um, EDT thing, a big frag thing for you guys, because that's like something really cheap and old way back in the day. Um, but I'm really glad I picked that up. So thank you to the person who dropped that down. Then, <laughs> again, was confused. Didn't know if someone was selling it, but... I picked up this brand new steel sealed you can see the plastic there steel sealed and this is a uh, soap that was done for the um, um, like the paramedics firemen um, police department and stuff like that people who serve to help protect and serve and all that kind of good stuff and, uh, and it was uh, done for South Florida wet shavers there you go and this is a brand new bottle of aftershave from Sterling, along with a brand new tub matching Sterling soap. So, super stoked. The scent is a bit um, earthy, with a little bit floral and spicy notes in it. I didn't know if I was gonna like it. I said, I'm gonna, you know, I've, there's a lot of things that have shocked me in the past, so I was like, you know what, I need to get in to start trying out new things. So that's what I've been doing. Not shying away from certain things and giving them a try. So, can't wait to get into that. And uh, that is that, guys. Uh, I had a pretty good good haul. Um, I'm pretty stoked. A lot of guys there picked up a lot of great things. I'm kind of sad that I showed up late because there was some pretty cool limited stuff, limited edition stuff that some guys picked up. And I was like, damn, I wish I was, I would have gotten there early. So a lot of things were dropped down. And a lot of things were picked up. So it was pretty cool. So thanks again to everyone who showed up at that meetup. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Uh, Gerardo for getting a hold of me and letting me know and then giving me the invite. So uh, I really do appreciate it. I can't wait for next year. He's going to be throwing another one next year. So brother, you did a good job. Good on you. So uh, if you guys like what you see, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Y'all see about that later.